I am here with two fine young men I've gotten to know a little bit over the past few years from my work for Fighting Irish Media. They both play the most scrutinized and coveted position in all of college sports. They play quarterback at Notre Dame. Malik Sayer, Deshaun Kaiser. Thanks, guys, for coming on out here and spending a little time with us. Everybody knows you're competing for the starting job. Everybody knows you both think you should be the starter. We're not going to go there where I want to go is how much you help each other, how much you were helping Malik when he was the starter last year, and then when I mean, you had the devastating injury. So disappointing, but nobody worked harder to make Deshaun better than you did. Talk about that relationship and why you do that. I just think it's, it's very helpful to uh, always remember that at the end of the day it's a team game and, and your ultimate goal is to win a championship. So um, whatever you got to do to help that team cause is something that adds positive energy and positive attention. And I think he did a great job, you know, being able to uh, take advantage of the opportunity and do the best that, uh, of his ability. So uh, whatever I could do to help uh, in any way, uh, help form that for the football team so we can accomplish what we need to is something that I, you know, I'm all in for. Yeah, you know, Notre Dame is just a place where it's all about winning tradition. And you know when you're, when you're being recruited here and when you make that decision, you know what you're putting yourself into. So with that, I mean, just the, the mindset throughout the whole team, not just in the quarterback room, is to, to make sure that the guy who's out on the field for your, your specific position room is a guy who's going to be um, performing at the best to put us in a position to win a national championship. So with that, um, you know, we prepare not just as individuals, we prepare as a group. Coach Sanford is there, you know, guiding us along the way to make sure that whoever is out there representing our team and our offense is, is putting us in, in the best position to go out and, and win a game and, and hopefully get to, you know, once again, our ultimate goal, a national championship. In football, certainly the ultimate team game. Everybody has to contribute for the victories. But you're also on a team within a team, your position. You talked about your position group and your position room. And, and in that room with you every day is Mike Sanford, a very aggressive, energetic young coach. Talk a little bit about what it's uh, like to play for him. You can start. Yeah, yeah. You know, Coach Sanford is a different guy. He, um, is, is very smart in what he does. Um, you know, he's a young guy who, who can truly relate to the style of football that we, we do. You know, he was just in, those, in that position and uh, went out and, and got, you know, quite a bit of experience going from school to school, and now he's here with us. And, um, you know, he, he's, he does a really good job of communicating with us, um, understanding the type of people that we are and making sure that he completely, um, you know, does whatever it takes to make sure that the things that he says to us resonates with us and that it, it truly, um, you know, prepares us to, to go out there and play. Um, you know, a lot of coaches, that they, they go by one way and this is the way they coach and as a player you have to adjust yourself to that. Coach Sanford is the complete opposite. He's going to make sure that he coaches to the player rather than the player, you know, change himself for him. So with that, um, I think that as every quarterback in the room has their own way of, of communicating with them. Um, so when we're out in the practice field or when we're out you know, playing in, in front of 80,000, anytime we step off and we get on the phone with him, uh, things just click. And, and that's, that's something that you can't teach. You know, he's one of the better coaches I've ever been around. And uh, you know, I look forward to continuing to grow um, as a player, but also grow our, our relationship from you know, player to coach. What's your relationship like with Coach Sanford? Yeah, I think Coach Sanford is a, a great coach and, and not only a great coach, but a great person. So. Um, his availability to uh, everybody in the quarterback room and his availability and the time he spends uh, trying to be a great father and trying to be a great football coach, I think, uh, is a true testament to the guy. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm appreciative of uh, everything he's done for me and for this group, and uh, I know he has a lot more to give, and we have a lot more to give, too. So um, I think he's a really good coach, and, and Coach Kelly did a good job. So <laughs> just keep rolling with that. Isaac Rochelle was uh, on the show about four hours ago, and he talked about uh, how important spring practice is. And you just completed it uh, a week ago Saturday. So, Malik, I'll start with you. How did it go for you and the team? And I guess we'll start with how was that ankle? Are you back? Yeah, well, I think that um, it's great to be back with uh, all the guys that you, you know, you work so hard with and you, and you invest so much time with each and every day. So I'm very blessed and very appreciative of that opportunity. And um, you just got to make the most of it. So a lot of uh, spring practice for us was, it's a new team. You know, it's team 128, not, not team 127. And, you know, we're just getting a, a, a good feel for each other. We don't want to be too close too soon. So uh, I think we did a good job in the spring of building that that, uh, that development. And, and I think uh, it's, it's going to be fun to watch us in the summer and in the fall next season. 
and especially you've got to, you've lost two really good receivers uh, to the next level. Did you accomplish what you wanted to both personally and with other guys stepping up to be the, the new go-to guys next year? Yeah, you know, spring is just an opportunity to um, not only uh, get your offense going and, and pull guys along, like we, like you said, but it's also an opportunity to one have fun. You know, one the playing at Notre Dame is is a very you know special thing, and it comes with a lot of pressures. So when when you're out there and, and you're trying to go through the whole playbook and you're trying to do everything perfect, you know there, there's a lot of stress that gets put on you. Spring is an opportunity where you're just competing against a guy across from you. There's no game plan. There's no you know. 80,000 fans every day watching you, and, and there's no you know, intensive media and stuff like that. So spring is just an awesome time to have fun and, and to get better. And also, it's, a, it's an opportunity to experiment. You know, a lot of us have, have you know, last year we, we were different guys than we are now. Um, you know, you learn as you go, and, and you, you start to, you know, get your repertoire up and, and understand the offense and understand your position, and you get to take those lessons that you learn from each game and from all those experiences and, and try to apply them to the spring um, situation w without a game plan there's not necessarily the, the right check there's not necessarily the right way to run a route so you get to go out and, and, and you know go out there and, and do a bunch of different things and a bunch of different checks and you know try different footwork to, to, to truly put yourself in a position to understand more what you're trying to do so um, along the lines of, of the receivers and re replacing those guys you know there, there's a bunch of young guys and we know that um, our skill positions are going to be very 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 um, talented. Uh, th there's guys who are, are early enrollees who are, are doing things that they were doing in their high school highlight tapes against college football players, and that's just unheard of. And, and then there's a bunch of other guys who've, who've been fighting to earn their spot. So I, I believe that we're going to have one of the best receiving cores in the country once again, and uh, I'm looking forward to you know trying to toss a rock around to them. Gentlemen, I always enjoy getting a chance to talk to you. I know even though spring practice is over, the next two weeks are really important because you're wrapping up all that academic stuff. So thanks for taking some time to talk to us tonight. Oh, of course. All right. Lake Zaire, Deshaun Kaiser.